Hello and welcome ITTV Gaming here. Today I want to share with you how to build this large luxury mansion. As you can see it is a very big design and it is actually very simple to build as well. So if you want to build along there will be a list in the description. Once you got everything you need let's get started. So we are going to start off with a three high staircase. You want to skip two blocks then build the same thing on the other side. And we are going to repeat it just one more time. After that, you can just simply add some stone brick stairs. Just fill this in. Then want to go out two more blocks. And make sure that you fill this in as well so that no mobs can spawn over here. Then you want to build up this area by six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's repeat the same thing over here. And then you just want to go across just to connect these two points. Then let's divide this in one more row like this. And here we are going to have the doors. So you just can place it in like that. And for now, just add some stairs and add some stairs on the sides as well. On the back side, we are going to add some prismarine blocks. This is actually temporary. Let's repeat it over here. And here we go. We got the entrance at the chains and now we can start working on the sides. Now I'm going to show you one side and we are going to repeat the same thing on the other side as well. So here you just want to go out one more block and go up three blocks. Go in, go out again. And let's repeat this one more time. Just like that and make sure that you fill in the back side as well. Just to give it an even look, like that. Once you are done with that, you want to have an additional block right here. Then go into blocks. And don't worry about this, we are going to focus on that a little bit later on. So let's build this side. Okay, now each floor is going to be 9 blocks high in total. So let's start by adding some decoration to this. So you just want to add some upside down stairs. Here we are going to go for regular stairs. Just as simple as that. Okay, now let's build in this side as well. Here we go. Now we are going to build up the towers. So the easiest way to do that is you want to go in four blocks. And then go up 18 in total. So one, two, three, four. Eighteen. Now let's build in all of this. Okay, now we got that in. So let's build up this as well. Okay, now let's do the same thing over here. And obviously we are going to add two more blocks on this side. Here we go. That is going to be tower number one. Then let's actually build this over on this side as well. Here we go. Now let's start focusing on the first floor. So you want to go up nine blocks in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it's actually going to be in line with this. Then you want to go across, make sure that both sides actually end up like that. Okay, now let's do the same thing over here as well. Here we go. Actually, you just want to build this all the way up because it's going to be the same on the second floor as well. Now we can start focusing on the second floor. So we are going to go again in line with this. So you just want to skip two blocks, go up. Then you want to divide this in two windows like this. Let's actually repeat the same thing over here. Just like that. Then let's add some stairs. We're going to have some regular stairs over here. And here we're going to go with stairs facing each other like this. Here we go. Now let's repeat the same thing over here. Okay, then on the back side, you just want to go ahead and add some prismarine blocks going all the way up. Here we're going to do the exact same thing.
Okay, once we're done with that, you just want to go ahead and place some chains. So we are going to have chains going diagonal over here. And here we're going to go with chains going up like this. Okay, let's repeat the same thing over here. Then you want to take your iron bars, place it in. After that, take some stairs again and go across. Let's do the same thing over here as well, just like that. Then on top, we are going to do exact same thing. So just go all the way across with some stairs, take some buttons, and we're going to place it in on these four corners. Actually, you want to skip this. There we go. Just like that. And for the second floor, what we're going to do is quite simple. You want to go in line with this. Skip one block from the side. Edit in. Just like this. So you have the center block. Then you want to skip one block from the sides and add it in on the side. Okay, then build this up until it's in line with this. And here we're going to do the exact same thing and go across just simply like that once you're done with that what you want to do is you want to build up this and connect these two points and we're going to do the exact same thing over here as well okay once you're done with that we're going to divide this in multiple areas so we're going to have a one white window followed with another one white window and then we're going to have a three white window on the sides Now let's add in our stairs. Like that. Over here, what we're going to do is we're going to go all the way up with some prismarine. On the sides, you want to place your stairs again. Then let's divide this in multiple areas. Just as simple as that. Then take your iron bars simply place them in. okay now we got the windows almost done so you are going to need some stairs again let's add a row going across as well then go down one block and just go across one more time then take these stairs and we're going to go in again Okay, on top of this, you just want to go ahead and place some iron bars. Then you want to add chains. And then you just want to add a soul lantern attached to this. Then take the black stained glass pane and just simply place it in. The center, what we are going to do is we are going to add some full blocks just to give this a little bit more depth. First add some stairs, then you want to take some buttons and go up. Okay, now we got almost the front area done, but still we're need to do a couple more things first of all what you want to do is decorating the towers now the easiest way is just to add some stairs add some upside down stairs add your iron bars skip two blocks add it in again skip two blocks add it in Place some regular stairs and now we're going to repeat the same thing and if you've done it correctly, it should just perfectly line up like this. Okay, then on the sides, you want to go up with some iron bars. Okay, now let's repeat the same thing over here. Okay, now we still need to add some more depth to this build. So what you want to do is you want to go across with some stairs starting from this point make sure that you connect these two together over here we're going to do the same thing okay. 
And on top, we're going to do it one more time. Take your slabs and go across. Okay, now we're going to decorate the towers a little bit more. So what you want to do is you just want to add your chains first. Then again, we are going to attach a lantern. There we go. Now you want to do the same thing, obviously, on the other side as well. Then take some stairs again place it in on the sides and we're going to go in with some cord slabs just like that let's do the same thing over here and we're going to decorate the garden a little bit later on but for now leave it as that and let's actually move to the sides now the sides are going to be actually pretty simple so you just want to go up with a row of quartz blocks like this then we are going to build in the same tower shape. So you just want to have four blocks and go all the way up. Now obviously you want to add two blocks and go all the way up as well. Okay, now let's quickly build in this tower. So before you do that, you just want to go across this. And then that's built in this as well. Then we're going to start from here and we're going to go up three blocks and go back into and get the idea. We are going to do this four more times. So this is one, two, so five times in total. And after that, we are going to build another tower on the side. But let's leave that out for now. Okay, now let's add the stairs again. Followed with the iron bars. And let's go across with some stairs. Now this is going to be the start of the second tower. So let's build this up. And let's make sure that it is actually in line with this. Just like that. Oh, actually, it's too high. So here we go. Now we need to indicate some windows. Now before we do that, we are going to build this exact same decoration over here. But this time it's going to be perfectly symmetrical. So you want to go up six more blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Go all the way across. Then you just want to go up here and here we go now we got the exact same windows then you want to add your stairs facing to each other then go ahead and place some stairs going across and on the back side again we are going to add some prismarine blocks going all the way up Then we are going to build in the windows. So again, you just want to go all the way up until this point. Go across. And build down. And what we are going to do over here is a little bit different. Because we don't want to have it exactly the same the whole time. So you just want to find this multiple area. So let's have one wide window on the sides. Then let's have a two wide window. And then you can just simply have a four wide window over here just like that then again you just want to add your stairs and where you have only a single window you just want to add your stairs like this after that go down one block and add a row of stairs again and add your iron bars. Go across. 
Okay, we are going to divide this window in multiple areas. So you just want to go in one block and go across and do the same thing over here as well. Then take your black sand glass paint and just add it in. There we go. Now let's add some more stairs going across. Now obviously we are going to connect these two points. And on the sides, you want to go up with some iron bars. Then take your buttons and we are going to place it in again. So right here, you just want to go up until this point. And let's do the same thing over here. And then let's go across again with some stairs. Just like that. Take your lanterns and place it in. Just to light this a little bit up. Okay, now let's build in the second tower as well. Now let's not forget to go across with this as well. And let's add four blocks going across. Then you can just build this up. And I'm going to quickly get the towers in. I'm not going to decorate it yet, but just to make it simpler to follow along. Because we're going to decorate it the exact same way. Okay, once you got that in place, you want to go in line with this block over here, then go up three blocks in total and after that connect this for now just to make it easier to follow along once you got that you want to divide the sides in two then you want to go ahead and go in one block from the sides and go up okay this is how we are going to decorate this point after that you can just simply replace these blocks with some stairs here we go on the back side, make sure that you go up with some full blocks. Then go ahead and place your iron bars. Okay, now it is actually time to get the windows in. But again, we are going to do the same decoration. So you just want to go up nine blocks in total. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Then go all the way across. Go up and connect these two points then on the sides we are going to have one white windows then we are going to have a two white window okay let's actually do the same thing over here first and if you have done this correctly you can just add a block going up and this will divide this in two white windows then go ahead and go across with some stairs again and then just add your stairs on the back side we're going to go up again with the prismarine block actually you just want to make this face into each other i'm sorry i made a mistake this means that we need to add two more blocks on top of each. Then again, you want to go across with your chains. Over here, we are going to go up. Over here as well. Just like that. Then go ahead and add some stairs again going across. Now to decorate the back side, we are going to do something a little bit different so that it doesn't look all the same. So you just want to take your buttons and where we have two white windows, we are going to place it in. So just like this. 
then let's build up the second floor now for this one we are going to do exact the same as we have done over here so you just want to build it up go across connect these two points okay now we're going to have a three wide window followed with two one wide windows okay now at center we're going to have the decoration part so you just want to add your stairs just like we've done before Okay, now let's go in one block and go across. Let's place the iron bars. Now actually we're going to do things a little bit different. So you just want to add your stairs upside down so that we cover this all up. So it looks exactly the same as that. Then take the black saint glass pane. We're going to go up till this point and then add glass again. At center, we are going to build up with the prismarine block. Then divide this in two. One two and then go across with some iron bars okay now we can get the rest of the glass in here we go again let's go across with some stairs now you can definitely decorate this as much as you want to i'm going to add some extra stairs just to make it look a little bit different than what we have done for the entrance area then one more time we're going to go in with some stairs Just to give this a little bit more depth just like that after that let's start decorating well actually let's get this tower in place as well so build up with some full blocks then go in two and build it up as well and you get the idea we're going to build in the same tower Now let's start decorating the towers so you just want to add your stairs again and you get the idea we're going to repeat the exact same thing okay let's do the same thing over here not forget to add these stairs and now we can just follow this along and go all the way around there we go let's do the same thing over here and let's do it on top as well after that again let's add some slabs going across we're going to do the same thing over here as well okay now once we are done with that let's move up and let's decorate this i'm not going to show this step by step because it's going to be exactly the same as this so let me quickly build it in so i will make a time lapse for this one
Here we go. Now we got all the signs in. It should look like this. And I actually forgot a couple things. Which is adding the slabs. But that is actually very easily done. And if you want to, you can even add some slabs going across over here. And here we go. Now we still need to do the same thing over here. And let's do it over here as well. Let's add the iron bars at the corners. Now to come back at this, what you want to do just to decorate this a little bit more is adding some iron bars again on the sides going up so that it actually gives it a little bit more depth. Here we go. Take the warp trap doors and we're going to place it in going across over here. And here we go. Now we got each side in place. It should look like this. I think it looks lovely already. But still we need to do a couple more things. To start off we're going to add some extra blocks at the corners. So that it is actually a lot simpler to get the roof in later on. We are not going to have a big roof. But it still helps to make it edgy like that. Now let's take some smooth stone, cobblestone and some leaves. We're going to start working on the garden and you want to take some slabs as well go out for blocks on each side then go in two then we're going to go out four more blocks so one two three four let's do the same thing over here then go in again two blocks and go in two like this and this is going to be the garden but now we still need to make a pathway going all the way around. Then you want to go and get rid of two blocks from the side. Like this. Just go all the way around your build. Go. Now that is the first part. Then you want to go in and make sure that you have two blocks of space and go all the way around again. Okay, now you want to replace the floor with some smooth stone and some cobblestone. And we are going to go until this part. And after that, we are going to use some carpets just to make it easier. Okay, let's mix in some cobblestone. Then take some grey carpet and you just want to cover this all up. Then take some oak leaves and we are going to start here and you want to go all the way around. Then you want to add some leaves on the sides over here. And just to give this a little bit more height, you want to go in line with this and go all the way around again. Then once you are done with that, what you want to do is you want to go up two blocks on each corner. Then go up one more block and go all the way around again. After that you want to add some iron bars going all the way around. Then take some stairs again and then you just want to go all the way around just one more time.
Now let's start working on the roof. Now for the roof, I'm going to use some prismarine brick stairs and I'm going to use some white concrete as well. To start off, you just want to go all the way around with some stairs and you want to go in one block each time. So you always need to have one block of space. Okay, once you're done with that, what you want to do is you want to add some full blocks on the back side. This will make it much easier to get the second floor. Okay, now let's get another row of stairs. Once you are done with that, you want to cover this with some prismarine slabs. Here we go. Now that is done. We can do a couple more things. One more thing I just really want to do is to give this roof a little bit more depth. So I just want to go in line with these two blocks and add some stairs going up. Just as simple as that. Uh, actually, I'm sorry. You want to go out one more block. So this should perfectly line up like that. Okay. Now, if you want to, you can even add it on this side as well. And I think it will look much better if you do so. Okay, then take some lime carpet. And we are going to go in one block and add it in. Just like this. Just to give this a little bit more depth and color. And here we go. Now, first of all, I want to finish this. So let me quickly get some carpet and I'm going to quickly finish this so we can do the same thing. For now, I want to add some trees on the sides covering this build. And I'm going to use some dark oak saplings for this. I think this will look just fine. So let's place four this side. And I'm going to space them out by six or eight blocks. Doesn't have to be perfect, to be honest. Okay, now let's have an additional three the corner well, on both corners okay I think this this will look decent yeah it looks fine now I'm going to add a couple more and I'm going to do the exact same thing on the other side as well Okay, that looks good. Now let's add some more leaves and I'm going to fix this side because this is actually on block further than it should. Okay, now next up I want to change how the roof looks. So first I'm going to add some full blocks on top. Then let's cover this all the way. we go now let's actually add a slab on top of this as well then you want to take the prismarine brick again you want to go up two blocks and go all the way around Then 
and take some quarters and add it in. Here we go. Now to finish this off, we're going to add two more rows of prismary brick stairs. Okay, once we're done with one row, we're going to add another row. But before that, let's add some stairs again. Just like this. And then let's go for the second row. So first, you want to add some food blocks. And go ahead and add some more stairs on top. Okay, now just add one more stair on top. And then we're going to cover it all up with some quartz slabs. So you just want to go top, place it in. Go in and make sure that you fill all of this. Okay, now with that done, I have to be honest, it looks much better. Now we are going to make it even better with adding some end rods. So you want to go in and add one end rod on the side like this. Let's do it over here as well. And then you want to skip two blocks and do the same again. Here you just want to work around this. So you just want to add one at the center. Then here you can just skip two and add it in. Okay, just to make this a little bit more fancy looking. Then let's add some more end rods on the sides. Okay, now we still need some food, so we are going to use this area and the opposite area for this one. Let's start with adding some shulker boxes. We're going to do this on both sides. Then we want to replace just one of these blocks with a water block, then add in. Oops, <laughs> I'm sorry. Fill it in with some water and then add a carpet on top. Okay, now let's do the same over here. And over here as well. Now this should be enough to make sure that all of this has access to some water. Okay, now let's add some seeds, some potatoes. Some carrots as well. And I'm going to add two melons. Well, actually, we can add three, so let's go for that. Okay, now let's do the exact same thing on the opposite side. Now to decorate the exterior a little bit more, I'm going to add some orchids and mix in with some rose bushes going all the way around. Then let's go ahead and add some lanterns to light this up. So you want to add another block on top first. Okay, once you got each corner, you want to go in and go in line with this block. Doesn't have to be perfect and add it in. Do the same over here. And right here, we're going to do it for this and for this one. Like I said, it doesn't have to be perfect, so don't worry. Then take a lantern and place it on top. Uh, and actually, right here, we're going to go for the center, then add it in. Again, it doesn't have to be perfect, but make sure that both sides are the same distance. 
and you can just add your lantern on top. Okay, it actually looks much better already. So let's go and let's start working on the interior of this house as well. Now, as you can see, there are many bats over here. Uh, the easiest way to get rid of them is actually to light up everything and then just go away. I think it's 150 blocks and they will all just disappear. But I'm not going to do that. Um, I'm actually going to use a command to get rid of them. Here we go. That should fix the problem. Now, to start off, what we're going to do is we're going to build in a staircase going down from both of these sides. So, it's going to be very simple. Here we go. Let's do the same thing over here. And now, we want to fill this in so that nothing can spawn over here. Otherwise, again, some bats are going to spawn in. Okay, now let's build up the sides. Here we go. Now, as you can see, we got these weird looking windows to fix them. What we're going to do is we're going to outline them. So you want to go in actually two blocks. Just like this, and you want to make sure that you build up these blocks as well. We're going to do that for each window. Okay, now that is done, let's go ahead and let's replace the floor. Now I'm going to use some quartz bricks for the floor, but you can definitely use whatever you like to. Here we go, here we go. Next up, we're going to build some art shapes going over here. So you want to go ahead and connect these two sides, just like that. Let's do it over here as well. Uh, actually, you want to make sure that it goes like this. So you have one block over here, another one over here. Okay, let's do it over here as well. Okay. Then take some prismarine slabs and we're going to fill this in. We're going to do this for each corner. It looks fine. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to decorate this in the sides. So let's get some stairs first. Okay, let's start with this. And don't worry, we're going to get rid of the bats soon. Now we're going to use these areas to light this whole house up. Well, actually, on the second floor, we're going to do something a little bit different. But first, let's start with adding some stairs. Okay, then let's add some upside down stairs. Then add some iron bars. that add two end rods on top of each stair okay then go ahead and add a sea lantern on top go and 
after that, you just want to add some chains going all the way up. That looks actually quite good. Now, still, we need to decorate this as well. So before we do that, let's add actually the lighting on the second floor. And I can see I forgot an area over here. So let's put this in. Here we go. Now, what I want to do is I want to match this with this side. So you just want to build up just like that. Then for now, let's add some for blocks like this. Okay, once you're done with that, you want to make sure that you go in so that everything is in line with this and obviously this. Okay, now on this side, you just want to go out two blocks. This way, this should perfectly line up. Then go in with some prismary slabs. After that, take some torches to light up everything so that no mobs can spawn on top of this. go after that take your stairs again and you want to place it upside down like this going all the way around then take some slabs and go all the way across and you want to do this on this side as well here we go and you want to go in line with these two pillars and do the exact same thing Now we are going to build in a chandler, so then go ahead and place some upside down stairs. Like that. Then on the sides, we want to cover it with some iron bars. Add two end rods going down on both sides. Take some stairs again and place it in, going around one more time. Just like that. Then again, we're going to go in with some iron bars. Then add some end rods on each, and uh, then add some end rods on top. Then add some end rods underneath each iron bar. Like this. Take your slabs and cover this up. Okay. Then on the sides, you want to add one more additional slab. Like this. Then go down with some chains. Add some end rods again. Then at center, you want to add two sea lanterns. Go down with some chains. And then add some end rods again. And here we go. That is going to be it for the chanter itself. Now, as you can see, this is lit up pretty nicely. I want to have a open second floor. So what we're going to do is we're going to go around and make this a little bit thicker. So you just want to go on each side and make sure that you go in for blocks. So one, two, three, four. And let's do it over here as well. Two, three, four. 
And the reason why I'm going to do this first is because it makes it much easier to go all the way around with the uh, quartz blocks. Here we go. Now we can just fill all of this in. And we are going to go across again with three blocks. And we are going to do this on each side. Then you want to take some prismarine stairs and you just want to go all the way around. Here we go, that looks quite good to be honest. Now let's add some extra blocks on the edge. And we still need a way to access the second floor. So that's what we're going to do next. We're going to build in a staircase. Now you can use which side you want to. I'm going to use this center area. So let's get rid of these three blocks. Then take some stairs. We're going to work with some stairs. Just like this. Once you went down three stairs in total. I want to add some full blocks going out just like this so you want to have four blocks of space after that you can just continue down with two staircases instead of three okay once you went down again three blocks let's do the same thing over here first Then you want to go out four blocks again. So one, two, three, four. Let's do the same thing over here. One, actually, one, two, three, four. You want to make sure that you go in this way again with some blocks. And then you want to have your staircase going up. We go let's do the same thing over here then take the prismarine blocks and we're going to cover the sides so that you don't actually fall down when you go and use the staircase go now let's make sure that this is all equal now this doesn't look that good so let's get rid of this and let's add some stairs and i'm actually not happy with this as well so let's get rid of the center area and let's add some item bars now that looks good i'm actually happy with that but still it can use some improvement so let's add some slabs on top of this Okay, now let's add some slabs on top of this as well. And here we go. Now we got the staircase in, we can add some iron bars on the sides. Next up, we are going to light up the second floor. To do that, you want to go ahead and build up with some sea lanterns on this side and on this side. Okay, let's do it on the opposite side as well. Then you want to go in with some blocks again and cover this up. And then go all the way up with some iron bars just to give this a little bit more effect. You want to go ahead and add some sea lanterns behind the 
output blocks over here. Then take some trapdoors and go all the way around. There we go. Then we're going to add some extra iron bars on top of these. Then take some soul lanterns and place it in. Okay, now take some stairs and you want to add some upside down quartz stairs. Then take some campfires and go all the way up until this point. Take some iron bars and surround the sides with it. And this is going to be the cooking area for us. Take a white choco box and place it in. Now at the corners, what we're going to do is quite simple. You want to take some sea lanterns, place it over here and go all the way up. Then cover the sides with some coarse blocks. After that, you can just simply add some iron bars on both sides. Okay, you want to do that for each corner. Okay, now it looks good as well. So what we're going to do next is we need some storage. So I'm going to use some shulker boxes again for this one. So you just want to go ahead and add some shulker boxes going up. You want to go up until this point. Do the same thing over here. Then take your stairs and we're going to go in two blocks like this. Let's do the same thing over here as well. Just like that. Okay, now we can actually reach this one. So that's all good. And now let's do that for each side. Okay, once that is done, we need still to fix this because this doesn't look that great, right? So let's add an additional pillar on this side and one more on this side. Actually, you want to go in one block over here. So it looks like kind of like this. Okay, let's do the same thing over here as well. Then take some soul lanterns and place it on top then on the back side you just want to add some prismarine blocks so we still need a little bit more decoration right i'm going to keep it very simplistic but we still need some decoration so what you want to do is you want to add some stairs add some upside down stairs then on top of this you want to add it in again take some paintings and place it in and then we're going to add in some iron bars and take some entrails again oops, and place it in like that. Okay, now we got a cooking area and we got some paintings, nothing too special. Okay, then take some cyan carpet. First, you want to place some sea lanterns going all the way across. Okay, let's do it over here as well. Then take some carpets and go all the way across. Now we're going to add a little bit of another color. So we're going to add some light gray carpet on top of this. Just to introduce a third color. Okay, 
now we still need a bedroom i'm going to use one of these corners for the bedroom but before we do that let's actually add some more stairs so you want to add your stairs going across until this point let's do the same thing over here then you want to connect these two points Then take some stairs again and we're going to cover this up just to give this a little bit more depth as well here you just want to go until this point and connect these two points Okay, after that, take some bookshelves and we're going to add in some bookshelves as well. So we're going to use these corners. Okay, let's do it over here. Now we are going to build in a bedroom. We want to take one of these corners, doesn't actually really matter. And we are going to build in a wall going like this. And here we go. I want to build all of this up. So we are not going to have a massive bedroom, which is actually fine. Okay, this is going to be the entrance. So we got this space to work with so let's place this okay then let's place two doors followed with a button on each side so that we can actually open this up on top of this you want to add your stairs some stairs again followed with iron bars and then you just want to go all the way up with some full blocks okay now we have to work this in so we're going to go across like this over here we're going to add some full blocks Take your iron bars and go up. Okay, now we got the room itself. It's time to get the bedroom done. Now, we do not have a lot of space over here, so we're going to make the most of it. First, we're going to get rid of these and then add some full blocks. Let's actually get rid of a couple of these. Then add your bed on top. Place some stairs on the back side. Then you want to go up with some iron bars and have your shulker boxes on top of it just for decoration purposes okay now take the dark oak trap doors place them in and open them up just to decorate this a little bit more okay now we still need to fix the top so you want to go ahead and place some stairs fill this in and this is actually going to be it it's quite simple to do then take some stairs these are going to be temporary place them in and then go ahead and place a painting just to cover the wall okay here we go this is actually quite simple to do now you can get rid of this and that's going to be it for the bedroom now you can even add some more paintings just like that okay we still need a crafting table and i'm going to place the crafting table right here okay now let's add some anvils to decorate this a little bit more so to start off i want to add some anvils on the sides going in Now we can just make some pathways. Here you can get rid of these. Doesn't really matter. It doesn't have to be perfect anyway. Take trapdoors and place it on top of the anvil. Here you just want to add some stairs again, followed with some lanterns. Okay, now we got a bedroom. We got some bookshelves on the sides and I think it looks lovely already. And on this side, we're going to add a pillar going up, just an extra pillar. So let's do it over here as well. And this is just for decoration purposes. Take some chains and add it in on the sides, followed with some ant rods. Ok, 
Okay, let's do the same thing over on the other side. And here we go. Now, like I said, you can definitely add a lot more decoration to this if you want to. But I'm actually very happy with how this one turned out. And if you enjoyed this, please leave a like and subscribe. Have a nice day. See you the next time.